morning guys welcome back to a brand new video today we are starting off this vlog with our advent calendar oh there's my coffee i forgot about that first let's grab that must have coffee must have coffee second cup of the day in our be merry cup larry and i started this day off thinking or feeling like it is sunday i don't know why that is it's not sunday it is not it is a monday but it feels like a sunday which we need to get in gear with it being Monday. But anyways, let's quickly, let's grab the calendar. Like I opened yesterday, so you go ahead and open today's. I already saw it. Number six. Number six. I think we're on six. We'll find out if we open number six and the door's empty. <laughs> we're not at number six. This is six. Oh my goodness. Check out day six, everybody. That Let's is cool. See if it will show. It's Santa. Mm-hmm. Oh, Santa took a header. Santa down. Santa down. Poor Santa. That is very pretty. All right. So, shall we? I Good think show. it's. I think it's hollow. Oh, a lot of people agreed with me in the vlog the other day about Reese's being much better in the holiday, like the trees mm -hmm. and the pumpkins and all the things, because as you guys pointed out, which is so true, the ratio is different. So with the cups, it's more chocolate rather than peanut butter. And then the trees and you know the pumpkins, it's a lot more peanut butter than chocolate. Plus I'll add to that. I feel like the holiday ones are much more creamy. Like the chocolate's just smoother, Ooh. more melty, you know? Prove or disprove. It's I hollow. It. Is it hollow? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hello, chocolate. Can't focus on it, but I don't know. Anyways. Play is good. No, you're going to get boiled. Okay. <laughs> it's one of those days where I need to catch up on laundry, clean the house, and edit. <laughs> so I think we are gonna do some fun things in here. Of course, I'm not gonna drag you through a vlog of me editing and just cleaning. That would be kind of boring. Maybe you guys will like cleaning, I don't know. But Larry and I decided we do have our friend coming to stay with us very soon. And we wanna get this house tidied up. I wanna wash the floors. There will be no signs of living in this house. So, that's a joke. That's a, that was a viral video that went out a couple years ago. Mm. But we're gonna start in the kitchen. So we need to do some tidying here. I went through Liam's bottles, by the way, this morning, which was a task because we just started him on six ounces today. So we're seeing how he does with that. What you looking at? Couldn't figure out what that was there, but it's, I know what it is now. What, 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 what is where? The knob from the drawer pull. Oh, yes. So I got rid of a ton of the four ounce bottles. Well, I didn't get rid of them. I'm storing them uh, in the pantry. So started off that at least, opened we up some cabinet space. We may never see them again. Yeah, that is true. I need to go through that pantry. I also cleaned out the kitties bin. So we went food shopping for them yesterday. So we've made a start, but not at the big things. We still have yet to start that candle. Candle puzzle. What? It's the not puzzle. Even puzzle of a candle. There's not even a candle on the table. The puzzle, the Harry Potter puzzle. We still have to start that, but what I'm worried about is one of us, one of us, if there is an active puzzle going, he can sit and do that puzzle for hours. Whereas me, I'm like, right, yeah. I'm bored, or I got like 15,000 things to do and then I won't sit and do the puzzle. I could be wrong. These could be candles. The flames. Wow, if you guys are hearing that really aggressive noise in the background, that's our ice maker. Ice we, maker. we had to get a nice maker because our refrigerator freezer ice maker broke. That no. freezer refrigerator is not that old. It's still under warranty. That's another thing we need to do. We need to do that. Yeah. We got it at sounds like blows. 
And they said, nope, we don't have anything to do with it. There's a number you can call, call that number. I feel like that's how everything goes nowadays. Unless customer you, service blows. Unless you buy from a small business that handles everything. I just feel like that's what happens. Like you go to the big corporation to buy your item, you hand them your money, you do all the things, and then if anything goes wrong, it's like, right, call the number on the back of the refrigerator and deal with it. <laughs> Somebody will help you, maybe. <laughs> but Bottom appliance sucks. Bought floors sucks. Oh, Jesus. The place they put in our house to install the floors sucks. <laughs> Learn. Just tell it like it is. I love that about you. I'm over here like blushing like, oh dear, we're getting serious now. Okay. Woo. <laughs> Cheers to Vlogmas Day, whatever this is, because it's not Vlogmas. It's so funny. A lot of you guys in the comments are like, happy Vlogmas, but it's not Vlogmas. Vlogmas. But it's not Vlogmas. Here's the thing about that, and I've already said this in previous videos. Like, I was so determined that Vlogmas wasn't going to happen. Not that I didn't want to do it. I wanted to do it. I just didn't think it would be possible. And, um... I think I was telling Larry, too, like, I'm not putting as much pressure on myself, where as every previous year, I was like... I don't know, I just felt more pressured. Not pressured to do it, but pressured to make it great so that you guys enjoy it. So we have a four month old and we're gonna be in the house a lot and I don't know. I'm just like, right, whatever happens, happens. I am really bummed. So many of you have been talking about the zoo. A lot of you are going to Zoo Tampa, which is Yay, the zoo that we zoo. would go to. And I'm so disappointed, like, I don't know. and. I, I'm confused. Like, I don't know if they don't have showings or like lights during the week or if it's that popular that the weekdays are already all booked out because the two weekends that are available, Larry and I and Liam, we all have plans already. We are booked on the weekends. And then they do have the lights available after Christmas. But I... What does a week end? What does a week end? But I'm like, I'm so determined to do it during the holiday, not after the holiday. I mean... She's all about the holiday until one minute after the holiday's over, and then it's... Yeah, actually, sometimes I get really dramatic and all the Christmas stuff comes down, like, the day after Christmas, but sometimes now I leave it up until New Year's Day. I feel like New Year's Day, everything comes down. Or the day after New Year's Day, for sure. Everything's got to go. And it's crazy how big and open the house looks. I just charged this. This is a fresh battery that I pulled off the charger and it's dead. Oh no. How does that happen? We can't be having a faulty Vlogmas battery camera, Vlogmas not Vlogmas. Yeah, I didn't even do a Vlogmas intro. I didn't do anything special. And now I'm like, why didn't I? And I should have done that. Also need to talk to them about the, the merchandise, the Christmas stuff that we, what a fail, what a flop. Oh yeah, we can do it. Yay, great, let's do it. Okay, here's the stuff. Yay, great, let's do it. Okay, here's the stuff. Well, the problem was, no, it wasn't exactly that. It was just that the design didn't arrive in time. Like the shirts for us to show you guys have not arrived yet. And orders needed to close on December 4th, which it's already past December 4th, and we still have yet to receive the shirts to show you guys. Um, they would have to close on December 1st for you guys to receive them by Christmas. So now if we were to put them out, there's no point because you won't receive them by Christmas. They're more wintry themed though, but still it's just like, what is the point that's so frustrating? And then if you want to receive them by new year, the, the sale needs to end December 11th. We're not there yet. It's the fifth but we still have yet to receive the shirt. So I'm like, I just don't find any point in doing it anymore. Cause I just think like, if you guys wanted to purchase something that was festive related, it would have been in November, not midway through December. And then not receiving your item until after Christmas. Like, and I'm so sad because it was so cute. It was nice. I, I, I liked it. I'm, I'm so hard. I'm like actually heartbroken about it because it was such a special design and I'm very bummed. Um, I'll show you guys them when they arrive, but again, the, I just, I don't know if we should even... Well, they didn't say what year in December. <laughs> it's just, I'm so bummed, and I, oh. Anyways, we're not gonna go into that. Anyways, let's get on with the vlog. I actually need to edit today's vlog. Liam's taking a nap, so it would be perfect time for me to hop on the computer, edit the family day vlog for you guys to see, and then we'll 
we'll get going. And I need to figure out what happened with this camera battery. Close that eyesore. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> something devastating just happened to me. And it is devastating. This is not dramatic. So my milk supply is down again. It, has, it is taking a crash and burn at the moment. So I have Liam is now drinking six ounces starting today and I'm not keeping up with that. So I decided, right, I'm gonna pull out one of my four ounce frozen thingies, thaw it in some water and then use it as like a top off for like today's bottles just to make sure he's getting six ounces in each one. I have like five, but I was just gonna use it to top it off. I come back, I fill this bowl, I come back and the bowl is all murky and wet and I'm like, what the heck? Now I'm like over careful with things. I'm that type of person that I don't like wrinkled pages, bent pages, any of these things. This is a rant by the way, in case you haven't noticed. This had two different puncture holes in it and my milk leaked out into the water bowl, which can't be used. There was still a couple of frozen chunks left in that and I quickly saved those and put them in a bottle and just put that in the fridge and now I am thawing out one of these in an empty bowl so that if that one has holes in it with two puncture holes, how does that even happen? Not happy about that, but what can you do? I was just saying in a video that like you will definitely cry over spilled milk. You know the saying, don't cry over spilled milk. Like you'll definitely cry if you don't have a supply built up yet. And a lot of you guys were like, you've definitely cried over spilled milk with that situation. I didn't cry, but I'm not happy. Not happy. But we're gonna move on. Luckily, there was a moment there where I was really producing a lot and was able to store like 20, 24 ounce bags in the fridge. So that's a plus, but I will tell you what. And I think I'm gonna make another cup of coffee because I'm getting a headache. I need to get a lot of stuff done when I don't have the energy to do it. Like I said, this is, see, this is one of those days where like I said, at least you're getting to see a day that is, I don't know, not like, not bright and shiny, I guess. Like I, you know, part of me is like, I'm ready to just curl up in a couch, in the in a couch, basically, <laughs> fold myself in that couch and, I'm done for the day. Anyway, we're gonna be positive. We're gonna switch this around. Let's make ourselves a nice cup of coffee. That'll cheer us up. We'll go with the toasted graham. Oh no, we're not gonna make ourselves a cup of coffee. We still have coffee that we need to finish from this morning. Let's do that. On a bright note, I've taken out some ground beef because we are gonna have spaghetti tonight in honor of Elf. I asked Larry, he said, spaghetti in honor of Elf? I was like, yeah, that sounds good. I said, are you gonna add some maple syrup to your uh, spaghetti? He's like, no. This, this battery's dying. It just said four full bars. It's one of those days. Life is trying me today, but we will conquer. We're gonna make it through. One task at a time, one step at a time. We got this. He's like, what day did we open on the advent calendar today? And I said the 6th. And he's like, oh, well, it's the 5th. And I'm like, you know, that's too funny. So well, let's not open the 5th. We'll, we'll open the 5th on the 6th since we opened the 6th on the 5th. That's what we'll do. Oh, my goodness. That is too funny. Anyway, we tried to open door 3 on door 4. Now we're opening day 6 on day 5. Okay, so I felt like redoing the coffee station area. 
<laughs> so this is what it looks like now. I like it. I am trying an experiment with this wax burner. So I've just put coconut oil in here and then I'm going to drop a few of the Young Living Christmas Spirit Drops in there and see how it smells. I am officially making dinner and I'm making my spaghetti much different than usual this time. I'm adding cabbage. Why, I don't know. I have it in the fridge. Cabbage is one of those vegetables that's gonna soak up the flavor of whatever it's in. So, and I like cabbage anyways, but um, I have a little bit of ground beef in mine. Larry has most of the ground beef. So I figured I would just add veggies to it, what I have in the fridge. So mushrooms, of course, onion, and then cabbage. So mushrooms and onion are already in there. Now, we're going to just dump the cabbage in. And then my favorite sauce, this is the best sauce. It is pricey, but it's the best. It's the Rayos homemade marinara, and it has less sugar than any other spaghetti sauce or marinara sauce that I've found. So there's only four grams. Most sauces have about six, so. But anyways, besides the sugar, I mean, it just tastes extremely delicious. It's very authentic, that's how I would describe it. Dinner is done. It looks beautiful. I have an abundance of cherry tomatoes, so I just pop some in here. <gasps> Babe, I added cabbage to my spaghetti for the first time ever. I heard you talking about that, and I remember you said you had a lot of tomatoes. Yeah. Ooh, look at this. Looks so good. Da -da -da -da. And I made a deluxe salad. This is a mixture of romaine and spinach. And then we have green olives, tomato, beets, red cabbage, um, oh, those cheddar crisps, croutons, and a spicy pepper. So during dinner, Liam always joins us in his little mama roo. We call it a spaceship, his rocket ship, his egg chair. We call it many of things. You have your Sophie. Um, anyways, I think he has outgrown it. I do know it has a weight requirement, so I need to check that, but... Every time he gets, too excited. he gets excited and kicks his legs, it automatically stops. Uh-oh! <laughs> he gets so excited about it moving and then... And then, uh-oh! I do believe the little guy has outgrown it. I'm all ready for dinner. Me too, yeah. Oh. <laughs> ah, I love it. Larry has his syrup and his M&Ms to go on top of his spaghetti. I didn't have any Pop-Tarts. In honor of Elf. Are you going to try it? No. No. Oh, my God. Mm. I'll have M&Ms for dessert maybe, but yeah. not all at once. Then you have to grab it with your hands and oh, yeah, yeah. really shove it in. Sorry, bud, about your chair. cabbage in the spaghetti was really really good 10 out of 10 recommend added a little bit of crunch too because it didn't cook down all the way uh but i am gonna end this video here i hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us today if you did give this video a thumbs up leave us a comment down below and i will see you guys again possibly tomorrow <laughs>